You are applying to be the second most important yeah. person in the country, and you are going to be the first Marxist chancellor this country has ever had in modern times. How is that going to affect the way we go? I'm going to be the first socialist in the tradition of the Labour Party. And what that means, it's going to be rooted, let me just finish, it's going to be rooted in Labour Party values. And what are they? Fairness and equality, but making sure that there is a democratic decision taken at every stage. So that means I will be including in the economic development process of our country, businesses and trade unions and communities, local mm. government, elected mayors, and we will determine together the future of our country. It will not be done by private lobbyists behind closed doors as it is under this government the, at the moment. The only reason I use the Marxist word is that you yourself have said again and again and again, I'm clear, I'm an unapologetic Marxist. No. You don't say it on TV shows, but you say it in... Okay. Okay. Obscure places Look, like the House of Commons. I, what, I, no, <laughs> what I have say, obscure places. Uh, they say whisper a secret in the House of Commons, no one hears it. But look, the issue there is I, in the strong tradition of the Labour Party, which takes into account all of those economic thinkers, of course they do. And what I'm saying is the democratic decision-making about the future of our mm. economy will be open and transparent, but will be inclusive. No longer will it be done by private lobbyists. It will be done by involving both sides of industry and be involved in elected mayors, local democracy, sure. local okay. committees. So a very, very clear, simple question. Are you a Marxist? No. I believe there's a lot to Is learn. No or well, yes, I okay. couldn't work it no, out. Well, I tell you, I believe there's a lot to learn from reading Capital. Yes, of course it is. because that And that's been recommended, not just by me, but many others, mainstream economists as well. But I also believe in the long tradition of the Labour Party, which involves people like GDH sure. Cole, Tawney and others. You put that all together and you have, I think, mm. a direction for our economy based upon sound principles of fairness. Um, now, looking at, um, you, you mentioned Das Capital there, and the great um, prediction in Capital, which you have yourself raised, is that capitalism as a system will come down with an enormous crash. There will be a crisis and the entire system will fail. And you have well, said... Well, that's where Marx got it wrong, didn't it? That's where well, Marx got it wrong. Because you yourself have said that you don't just simply want to replace the government, you want to bring down the system. I want to transform the system. You still want to bring down I, the system. I want to transform the system. That's where Marx got it wrong. We know that. From so you don't want to destroy the I want, I want to transform the system. I'll tell you how I want to transform it. I want to transform it in a way in which we have a prosperous economy, but where that prosperity is shared by all, where it's economically sustainable, but environmentally sustainable as well. And in, so you're in, no longer looking for a revolutionary moment? I'm looking for a transformative government, and which will, like the Attlee government, which okay. transformed our society, will lay the foundations for a prosperous economy, where our, where our country okay. is richer, but where everybody shares in those riches. Yeah,